Hello, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. When we left off, we did the Apprentice ship, and now we're doing Bear Essentials Panda Park. Panda Park is Bernard Goodwin's new zoo built from the ground up to celebrate the panda in all its forms. This park represents an unparalleled opportunity show the world just how good Goodwin Foundation knows about breeding animals on the cusp of endangerment so don't squander it all right let's see what kind of missions we got here Ah, right. oh, pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> Oh, but did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing! That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, yep. this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation, a reputation that you're going to be in charge of maintaining. Along with all the uh, general maintaining, too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you, too. <laughs> okay. Welcome to China. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Okay. Obviously, the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. Let's go and have a look at it. Go on, don't be shy. Select the panda cub. Okay. Yep, I know. Pandas. Wow, that's a lot of pandas. Alright, so what we're going to do is click animals. Look for probably this guy. That's not a cub. Oh, there's the cub. And click on the camera to enter animal camera mode. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So cute! Did you know that giant pandas, or Ailerophyta melanoleuca, for being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. <laughs> Not wow. that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluffball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Oh no, I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first and that they're displaying signs of disease. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To okay. do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal and then select them to bring up their information panel. Good. Just this one. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Um. Okay. Oh, phew. That's a relief. 
Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Alright. In order to build the vet surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. Facilities, staff facilities. Um, and then the bit. Okay, let's raise it up. Uh, just gonna be floating there if that's okay with you. That's the job. Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room okay. for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. That just broke. I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. Yep, I already yes. did it. I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. Click call mechanic to get them to come over and fix it for us. You're so, three steps just to behind. explain, water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources, in that they have a radius of influence around them. That means, any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Nice. Also, like power sources, if they get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might stop cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Okay. There you are. Are you done yet? There we go. Good work. Now that the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> you can also use mechanics to repair power facilities, transport drives, bins, benches, signs, and as you already know, habitat barriers. Now, okay, this I'll is be cool honest, I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. Doing research into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. I'd like you to start okay. some research into border telosis. Disease research can be found in vet research. So head over to your research center and get one of the vets researching it. Okay, so right here. Get the higher rating one. Lovely job. Once that research is complete, I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. All right. Whew, that was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. We had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Right. Now that we've got all our urgent tasks yes. in hand, we can start to focus on the guests and improving their time in the park. Huh? You see, you can also do research into new and improved guest facilities, transport drives, as well as new types of barrier and other things via the workshop. I've highlighted the workshop for you, so head over yep. there, select it, and then click on View Workshop. Oh, I want the workshop. Um, research? And finally, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. 
I can't wait to see what they come up with. Okay, so you under souvenir. Great stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Uh -huh. Because we've had some good news. A highlighted area. Okay. It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. The really? authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. <laughs> So open up Animal Trading and go into the yep. Animal Reward section. Okay. Just click Transfer to Animal Storage next to each of the pandas, and then they'll be sent there. Yep. Finally, we can send them from Animal Storage to Quarantine. To do that, just select them in Animal Storage, then click Send to Zoo, and then click on the yep. Quarantine Facility in the Zoo. Don't worry. I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. Perfect. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. Okay, so we need one that has good... You. Pretty's good. I don't need a female. You got better immunity and fertility. You're a female. So let's go with this one. It has high fertility, high immunity. So... Oh, come on. Oh, I'm moving it here. At Fusion Station, food enrichment, toy enrichment, uh, terrain, and plant welfare. So, do I need to transfer this over or not yet? Where are you? Start with the feeding station. Filters. Species. Giant panda. A four meter. Got put in front of the guests. Is this a one-way glass? It is. So maybe another one over here. Then holes. Many places to go to. You green horse. See short grass. Clean it up, and a little bit of soil. There we go. Um, what else did we need to do? Food enrichment, toy enrichment, plant welfare. Okay. In here. 
Uh, food enrichment. Okay, I'm closing this for a minute. Three scatter feeders. Which I'll put on this side. Uh, we're doing it enrichment right now. Feeder. Toy. I'll put a tire. Tire. Rubbing pillar. And let's put some wind chimes. Perfect. Why is it snowing? Get out of that mode. Habitat. Oh no, the terrain's all messed up because of the snow. Okay, let's do this. Um, what temperature do they like? Giant panda. Uh, so we'll put it at 16. Habitat. One right here. One right here. Yeah, find where it went. Oh no, this is a... Messed this up. I almost did this on a different thing before. Okay, I want this to reach 16. Whatever that other one is. This one. This is actually a heater. I need you to reach uh, 16. Have to put nope heater here. Seventeen. And I can't see. Sixteen. Put one more. Here-ish. Can't have weather destroying my area. Really? I don't even need these. Such troll move to do. All right, back to what we were doing. Let's see. What else did we need? Plant welfare. All right, first things first. Useless, useless, useless. All right, so temperate Asia. Yeah. Temperate. Great. Go like this. Mind you guys wanting this here, so this. Basically replacing the plant that was here with a different one. Or actually, that was over here. There we go, that looks better. Makes more sense, too. Just kind of throw these here. Oops, go off.
Sorry, I'm not good at uh, centering these pretty good. <coughs> but I will try to cover around. That way gives it the design that was originally there. There we go. Um, next we need some bamboo. Maybe a little bit on each side. All right, plants. I can't put this in there. Oh well. Put it there. There. Up in the tree. I think they got a big tree that I put in one of these before. I actually want to give them a big, big tree. Delete that for a moment. Nice little big tree. Come on, don't bug out. Good news. Our new female pandas have been given a clean bill of health. You'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. And I hope you've made their habitat as comfy as possible. Because animals will only breed if they're happy. Good. You, you, and you move over to there. Over oh, to there. Oh, bless. I think they'll be really happy in there. Fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Right. While they're being delivered, we'd better get on with something else. Oh, dear me. There's never any time to rest when you're running a zoo, is there? Well, unless you hit the pause button. Okay, I think it's time I taught you all about work zones. I know, they don't sound as interesting as the animals, but trust me, they're ever so useful. You see, work zones are a way of making sure that your staff concentrate on specific habitats or tasks within the zoo, so they aren't wandering off elsewhere when it's time to feed the animals or the like. So let's start by creating a new work zone and then assigning a keeper to it so that they know to look after the new pandas. To do that, go into the zoo section, then click on staff, and then work zones. Uh-huh. Now, click on new work zone. To set up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room, and keeper hut. Oh, and don't forget to name it something useful. <laughs> Once you're done, just go ahead and exit the work zone creator. So useful, huh? Wait, how do you, uh, you name it? Ah. Uh, the panda. Feeding grounds. Alright. Click this. Oh no, cancel that. Okay. And uh. Close. Now let's hire a new keeper and assign them to our new work zone. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings on in the zoo. Go on, hire one. A new keeper. Then, click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. Uh-huh. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop-down menu. Yep. There you go. Now your keeper will focus his attention on our new pandas. Oh, and just so you know, all types of staff can be assigned work zones. Just make sure that they have access to all the buildings that they need. And one last thing. You might find it faster to assign them from the work zones tab in the staff section of zoo management. That'll save you having to know. chase around selecting your staff one by one. Oh, it sounds like the brand research has been completed. 
you should collect your rewards. And you can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into mechanic research. Now that we've got okay. our lovely new Just a Memento shop designed, you should build one of them near the zoo's exit. That way the guests won't miss it on their way out and we won't miss out on their money. Of course. Okay, this needs to get out of the way again. Just a mento. And the exit that you said. Uh, here, right? Ah, there you go. <clears throat> Gotta have it connecting to the thing. I think it was actually meant to go like that. What? This? Really? Guess so. Oh, that's ever so wonderful, that is. Anyway, I'm just off for a moment, but I'm sure I'll have some more jobs for you to look at shortly. Yep. <clears throat> oh, those pandas look just adorable. <laughs> I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're wild bears. And good work on that new gift shop branding. Just a memento. <laughs> Very clever. Much better than our old overpriced gifts branding. <laughs> I'm all for truth in advertising, but it was perhaps a little <laughs> on the nose. <laughs> 